Welcome to Grayon Map. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a trapezoid with the label A, B, C, D. And uh, this trapezoid has sides uh, that are related to this uh, circle. I mean, it overlaps the circle. So, as you can see, this uh, segment B, C. Uh, passes through the center of the circle and segment uh, AD is actually tangent to the circle at point E and if you look on the basis the uh, uh, angles are actually uh, 60 degrees horizontal for the base and 60 degrees uh, with with the uh, side for the left and right. Okay, so, and uh, CD is also a secant segment and their point of intersection of the circle and the trapezoid is uh, F and the length of the base of this uh, trapezoid is one unit and uh, this uh, we are required to find the length of uh, x or df and ab is uh, parallel to cd okay so actually we have a disclaimer figure may not be true to the scale okay so first thing that we can do is we can actually uh, draw a line from this uh, b uh, we continue uh, BC with the same inclination. Okay, so and also from AD, same inclination. And we take note of this a point, so to be G. Okay, so I have isolated this uh, triangle and trapezoid. This uh, trapezoid ABCD and this uh, triangle GCD. Okay, so. If this is 60 degrees at the bottom, C and D, then uh, this actually, the angle here is actually uh, 60 degrees also at A, and this is 60 degrees also because they are corresponding angles. Okay, so if this is 60 at the bottom, I mean at this uh, GAB, so undoubtedly this will be a 60 degree angle also. Because we just need to uh, subtract uh, 120 degrees from the uh, the interior angles of any triangle. So that is 180 minus uh, 120 gives us 60. So undoubtedly this triangle GCD is an equilateral triangle. Okay, so next is we draw a segment from a point E to the center of this uh, yellow circle and since this is a uh, tangent at E then this should be a right angle and we actually form a small uh, right triangle and if that is 60 at G then this should be 30 degrees and we form a actually we see a 30, 60, 90 triangle Okay, so uh, if uh, that blue line is drawn, then this uh, blue line is also R, the radius of this uh, circle. Okay, so next is uh, I have isolated the, this uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle. So the longer leg is actually R, as you can see here on the uh, right. Uh, the, the right of the two right triangles so if we recall the length the ratio there is uh, the one for the shorter leg opposite the 30 degree and uh, for the longer leg is square root of three so and the hypotenuse is two so in our case if we have this r as the longer leg then we just need to divide this okay so divide this r by square root of three so that gives us r over uh, square root of 3 and 
if you have here the shorter leg to be r over square root of 3, then we just need to multiply this to get this uh, hypotenuse. This becomes a 2r over uh, square root of 3. So if we apply that back here on our uh, uh, original figure, so this length uh, ge will be r over uh, square root of 3. And this length at go, this length at go will be uh, 2r over uh, square root of 3. Okay, so next is I want you to notice that the uh, segment uh, GC of this, uh, uh, I saw, I mean the equilateral triangle. So GC is divided into two parts. So that is a GO plus uh, OC is equal to GC. Okay, so GO. Is actually a 2 uh, r over square root of 3 and plus oc which is a r is equal to the given length of this uh, side of the equilateral triangle so since uh, the length at cd at the bottom is 1 so therefore this gc is also 1 okay and we can actually multiply this uh, all of these terms by square root of 3. Okay, so we have a uh, 2r, the square root of 3 cancels out, plus r square root of 3 is equal to square root of 3. And we can factor out this uh, r uh, on the left hand side. So r is r times 2 plus uh, square root of 3 equals. Uh, square root of uh, 3 so r is equal to square root of 3 over 2 plus square root of 3 and we can actually uh, rationalize this by multiplying this by a uh, uh, 2 minus a uh, square root of 3 and over 2 minus the square root of 3 you just need to change the sign at the middle of 2 and square root of 3 to negative. So, if we continue, we have r is equal to, uh, just multiply this square root of 3 by 2. So, 2 square root of 3 minus uh, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. Over this uh, at the bottom will be uh, 2 square is uh, 4 it will be a difference of two squares. So the square root of 3 times square root of 3 will be a 3, so minus a 3. So r is equal to, this becomes 4 minus 3 becomes 1. So this will leave us with 2 square root of 3 minus 3 units for the radius. Okay, so our strategy actually is that we should find the uh, length DE. DE being the tangent segment with uh, a point E to D, the exterior. And they, it has the same uh, exterior point D with respect to this uh, secant segment CD. Okay, so we can actually use later uh, tangent secant theorem. So uh, we just need to find for now the length of ED or DE. So, but uh, as you can see, GD is the total. Uh, this is actually the side. If we focus on the uh, segment on the left hand side of this uh, triangle, so it is equal to this uh, GE plus DE. Okay. So GE is actually a R over a square root of 3 plus DE which is actually the unknown and the GD is actually 1 because it is the side of the right triangle. 
I mean, equilateral triangle. So, DE is simply uh, equal to 1 minus R over uh, square root of 3. Okay. So, this we have here, if we simplify this, DE is equal to uh, square root of 3 to be the LCD. So, square root of 3 divided by 1 is square root of 3 times 1. This will be square root of 3. Minus uh, R. Okay. So, DE is equal to square root of 3 minus R, which is uh, 2 square root of 3 minus 3, all over uh, square root of 3. Okay. So, DE is equal to square root of uh, 3 minus 2 square root of 3 plus 3. Okay, so we can actually all over square root of 3. And we can actually combine this to similar terms. So this becomes a negative square root of 3. So this becomes 3. But uh, 3, we just write this first, this positive 1, 3 minus uh, square root of 3 all over uh, square root of 3 is equal to DE. And uh, we can actually uh, rationalize this by multiplying this by square root of 3 over uh, square root of 3. So we have here 3 square root of 3. If we multiply this, minus... Uh, uh, this square root of 3 times square root of 3, this becomes a 3, all over uh, 3, okay? So, but uh, we can actually uh, factor out this, uh, this, uh, this 3 on the numerator. So, we have uh, 3 times the square root of 3 minus 1, all over 3. So we can cancel this 3 out. So we are left with the DE is equal to square root of 3 minus 1 units. Okay, so as I have said earlier, we are going to use this uh, tangent secant uh, theorem because we already got this uh, tangent uh, segment DE and this uh, we have also the uh secant segment cd and uh what, uh what we are actually looking for is the exterior secant of this uh the exterior secant of this uh, secant cd okay okay so recalling this uh tangent secant theorem so when a tangent uh, and secant are drawn from one single external point to a circle. So in our case, that is this uh, point D. Okay. The square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the secant segment in the exterior portion of the secant segment. So in our case, the we need to square the tangent segment and that is actually uh, this uh, DE. As I have said earlier, this is the tangent segment. The square of that is actually equal to uh, the length of the whole secant segment is equal to the product of the length of the whole secant segment. So in our case, the whole secant segment is CD times this uh, exterior secant. So that is DF. Okay. So this is the tangent secant theorem. So since we are uh, required to find the df, the length x, so we just need to set this df is equal to, we just cross multiply. So this becomes a de square over a cd. Okay, so df is equal to a de square all over CD, but DE square is actually a square root of uh, 3 minus 1 
squared all over a CD, which is a 1, the side of the equilateral triangle. Okay, so simplifying this, we just have to square this uh, square root of, we have to square this uh, square root of 3 minus 1 squared. So, df is equal to square root of 3 squared minus 2 square root of 3. We just need to multiply the product of these uh, two terms and multiply it by 2. So, this gives us 2 square root of 3. Then, negative 1 uh, square gives us uh, 1. So, df is equal to 3 minus 2 square root of 3 plus 1. So, if we simplify eh, by adding uh, or simplifying the like terms, adding like terms, so we have df is equal to 4 minus 2 square root of 3 units. And that is our answer. So, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.